What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lydia. If you're new around here, hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am Lydia. If you're not new, get in the back. You already know what time it is. Guys, before we get on, before we get on, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I need your help, like seriously, because it's Valentine's very, very soon. And it's my first Valentine's as a fiance, so I cannot lack. I'm gonna need your help. But before I even ask for your help, guys, you know what the motto is. The girl is trying to get to 225,000 subscribers before the end of Feb. That could be your Valentine gift to me. So go and click subscribe if you haven't. Press like if you like the video, thumbs it up. And yeah, let's get to my dilemma. So guys, <laughs> your girl is here trying on dresses. I have been trying on, well, I've tried on like two so far and a top as well that's remaining because Valentine's is just around the corner and a fiance has nothing to wear. This is a dress that I got in the summer <laughs> and I'm actually wearing it with another dress inside, like my other dress inside because as you can see, it's meant to have like a cutout on the side here. Can you see? Yeah, it's got a big old cutout on the side and it's mesh. It's such a cute dress, but is it giving you Valentine's? I don't know. If not that, my other option is this. Let me try this on for you. You guys can let me know. I like this because of the red, but it's cold outside. So this is the second option. What do you guys think? What do you think about this? Because it's giving a little bit more casual, but I love the red. I feel like red is just perfect for the occasion like what do you think i honestly do not know so it's just gonna have to be what it is i don't feel all that prepared apart from i have a valentine and a galentine my galentine this year is of course guys take a guess dot <laughs> dot is next door she's my galentine's and i've actually got her gift already my partner he's gonna have to wait a little bit i don't even know what i'm wearing to go and see him i don't even know what we're doing i don't even know what i just don't know what I do know is that I have Dot's gift. Let me show you Dot's gift. So you know that they say that good things come in small packages? Well, 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 I got a few small packages here indeed to share with you guys. With Valentine's coming up, I thought it'd be really cute to gift myself and Dot some of the new Pandora Valentine's collection. And with that, a big thank you to Pandora who are the kind sponsors of this video. Guys, this, <laughs> excitement. So I got myself the gold bracelet and golden charms as well from the Valentine's collection. And I just got Dot pretty much the same thing, but just charms because she already has a Pandora bracelet. She actually received one for her birthday. So we have the same one. We're gonna be doing matchy matchy sisters. Look at these, they're so cute. I'm gonna have to give you guys proper close-ups, but these are absolutely stunning. Let me put them on. Guys, look at how pretty the bracelet looks on. So as you can see, I basically got us matching padlock and key and this really cute intertwined heart. Mine are gold and hers are basically rose gold. It's so cute so freaking cute guys honestly valentine's is the perfect time to spread that little piece of love and these the <laughs> all of this is so cute i'm so glad i got myself one but also it's perfect to share with a loved one so with pandora there's so many unique pieces so you can literally make the gift as personal as the person who is going to be receiving it this valentine's collection is so gorgeous it has so many nice charms necklaces bracelets so many different pieces available i love the high quality craftsmanship of the pieces like they look so so good and i also love the fact that you can just collect as of when you need to like for different occasions you can just add yourself a charm it's so cute such a great idea i love it so much i am so in love with these pieces and i know that dot will be too she has she's, she's gonna love it guys look 20 twin twin she got the rose gold and i got the gold but anyway guys i'm gonna leave pandora linked in the description box be sure to click the link and go and check them out be sure to check out their valentine's collection and spread your own little acts of love 
so cute. I'm actually just gonna go and put these in her room as a little surprise. We have two matching ones and I think I'm just gonna go put these in her bedroom for later on. Little surprise. One sec, let me go and do Santa. It's a good thing I'm even wearing red. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. I know she's gonna love them. I have this package that I am so excited for. Okay, note to self, put scissors in top drawer. So excited for this. Oh, hallelujah. It's Dot, you wanna see it? Okay, so Dot is here. Guys, look, it's my Ruka hair. It's big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a big old box. Guys, I'm so excited. This is my new wig. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, let me show you what else you guys can see what I'm looking at. First thing, what is this? There's like all of the branding. Guys, so this is basically, look at this babe. It's Wumi times Ruka hair. Wumi Bello, the babe, the beauty. Face card doesn't decline. Face card never declines. Hair card also does not decline. This is Wumi Bello's edit with Ruka hair. I am so excited to try it. They've even sent me some, some other bits, like there's a, there's a jumper in here. There's a top. Thank you so much, guys. But this is the bit that I really wanted. So this. If my hair wasn't glued down, I would try this on. Guys, look at this. It is a huge unit. It's giving me the edges that I never had. It's literally giving me the hair that I never had. Do I feel that? It feels... Ooh, it feels like hair, doesn't it? It does. It feels like, when I say hair, it feels like black hair. It feels like falsy hair. But it's so soft at the same time, very soft. Guys, this is my wig. Oh, I really wish my wig wasn't on. Because if I didn't have this wig on, I'd be putting this on straight away. I'm so excited that I might even just put this on top. Like, I really might. Ah, guys! <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. Obviously, this has not been styled. Guys, I've literally just popped this on top of my head. The reason why I haven't taken off my wig is because my wig is actually glued down. Um, Because you guys know when I need to get work done, I glue my wig down and I get loads of work done and then I take it off. This is so nice. I cannot wait to go and take off this lace. Can't wait. Let me just give you a close up of the roots. I can't wait to go. <laughs> hey, Ring. Hey, girl. How you doing? Take off the excess lace and then just reshape it and comb it and just give it a style or even like tie it into like a different style guys i cannot wait it's also very light it's very 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 light but it looks so realistic it's giving me diana ross it's giving me diana ross can i have it sideways <gasps> oh yes <laughs> oh, i'm screaming <gasps> I just need like something in my hair, like something floral in my hair maybe, or like maybe like a little braid on the side here. It's giving absolutely everything that it needs to give. Cannot wait to get this, get this on my head. I already come clean and pre prepped. This is how you can spruce me up. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, thank you so much. And there was one last thing. Oh, I think this is a scarf. Yes, oh, it's a silk scarf. Yes, yes. I need to find something to do with this, to do with the hair, like tie it or do something with it, you know? This is very cute. It's just a really nice, simple silk scarf. I need to call Iffy right now to see if she's gonna be able to fit me in for a fitting for this because that is all I need. That's all I need. Good morning, guys. Good morning guys, good morning. Coming to you from a very sunny February morning. Is it morning, is it afternoon? We are, oh, afternoon, 1 p.m., wow. Didn't realize. It is so cold outside though, but it's fresh. And it's nice to have the sun. I'm just, I'm over it, I'm over the winter. So I keep saying it every single video, but I really am over it. I'm onto the next one, which is spring, but really can we skip spring and get straight to summer? That's my mood. <laughs> But it's nice to have some sun. Anyway, today, wow. So my day has been thrown off. Like, 
my day has been thrown off but in a good way i think so this morning i got um dot and i had our morning meeting and she let me know that we've got an inquiry from itv good morning so good morning it's like good morning britain it's like a um tv talk show that happens first thing in the morning and it's broadcast to like the whole of the uk you know it's it's kind of it's just morning news tv talk show stuff you know but yeah they want me to go on it well possibly want me to go on it so i'll have a call with them with i think one of the producers today in the next 15 minutes and i'm like wow okay am i doing this it's like a fear for sure like not a fear but you know going to speak on national tv so the topic is regarding home ownership um and some controversial comments that have been said regarding that and i guess it was going to be my opinion like what do i think about it so initially i was like do i want to do it it's a lot it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of like well the pressure is from my head that's the thing though this is it it is a lot of pressure like social pressure going on national tv to speak is pressure right so i'm trying not to let that fear come over me because i know what i'm talking about and i have my opinion and i know what i'm saying and so that's that should be what I'm going on there to do. So I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I've chatted to my fiance, I've chatted to Dot, like those are my energy boosters, you know? In life, you got energy suckers and you got energy boosters. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of pressure, but at the same time, it shouldn't be pressure. So I'm just choosing the root of it, not being pressure, and instead choosing preparation instead. If I do get to go on it, I wanna just be prepared and um, be sure of what it is that I wanna say and then there should be no issues. I should just go there and regardless of what somebody says, this is what my fiance was saying, let me be honest, this is what he said to me. <laughs> regardless of what other people might be saying, um, if you know what your point is and what you're there to say, just go and do that. You will always come back to the original point of the question which you had an answer to, you know? So that gave me a lot of confidence and now I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So I'm waiting for the call. Call should be at quarter past one. It is now three minutes past one. If the call goes well, I need to now get ready. I need to prepare. I need to call Ify. I need to get my head on tonight. I need to go to central London and pick out an outfit because there's no time to order. The show starts at 8 a.m. in the morning. So I need to be ready before, which means I need to get a uh, makeup artist. Oh, wow. You see how it's just suddenly domino effect? Things that need to happen within the next, like, how many hours? Less, way less than 18 hours. Is it 18 hours? What time is it between now and in the, basically the next 24 hours? This eyelash, it needs to give me a chance. Yeah, I don't have much time, so hopefully, hopefully it goes well. I hope, I hope I get it. At the same time, if I don't, that will also relieve some pressure and I won't have to run around like a headless chicken but I'd rather get it than not you know okay I can't see now so I'm just gonna wait for the call and uh, I think my boo's gonna join me actually so just before we jump on the call fiance has got some good helpful tips go on before you have a meeting always google the person that you're talking to yeah. check their LinkedIn whatever information you can find out about them because it's important to know kind of what they do what their scope is like i was just saying to, to lydia like at the end of the day whenever you've got an opportunity to speak you can talk for hours or you can talk for two minutes yeah. and so if you google the person that allows you to know if you've got 15 minutes for the meeting it allows you to know what, what? things you want to say in those 15 minutes because be you can talk, yeah because you can talk for hours about all sorts of different things so yeah but um, always google the person that gives you a lot of information same with interviews anything like that Hello, Paul already. You really well, thank you. Excited for this call. Excited to hear what you've got to say. <laughs> um, I've got my partner here with me. Just came off the call. The call went well. I just basically had a chance to explain my my point of view, what I would say on the show if asked the question. Um, I think it went well. But now, now I need to organise. I need to organise the next steps if in case it goes well because it's now one time now is one thirty seven and I'm hoping to hear back from the team at four pm if I've been selected because basically they're calling around different people who they possibly have in the panel discussion and so you give them your opinion and then they go and see what's going to be the best discussion to be had on TV right so um, they'll confirm whether I'm doing it or not at 4 p.m. So much energy required, so little to give, so little to give. Let me call Ify. Oh wow. Hey, how are you? You look so beautiful. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you look so nice. I think you look so fresh-faced. I think you look fresh-faced. I think you look 
I'm me, trying. you think so? Me, I'm going through it, boy. I'm not fresh faced at all. I'm coming to you from the trenches, I'm coming to you from the fitting rooms. Oh, God. I don't know if anybody else can relate. If you can relate, let us know in the comments. If you hate shopping in store as much as I do, I find this so hectic, but I'm here because I need to find an outfit. So these are some of the picks that I've got here. I went to Mango before, now I'm at Bershka. I'm at Oxford Circus, so I'm just doing the rounds. Then I'm gonna go to Oxford Circus, no. And then I'm gonna go to Zara next. But I'm just thinking something simple, casual, like a nice black tee or jumper. Um, and then some nice smart trousers, you know, nothing too much. Or maybe this jumper. But I don't know, like, I really don't know. Because I want to keep it really simple. You can't go wrong when you go simple. Honestly, right now, there is no time to try and do the most. I don't even think I'm going to get a hair, not hair, I don't even think I'm going to get a makeup artist. This is only if it's going on. It is currently 5.20 and I got a message at 4.51, so about 30 minutes ago, saying that they still haven't made a decision yet. So I'm still operating off the idea that it's happening. But even if it's not happening, I still need to get some outfits for an event that could be happening tomorrow if I decide to go. So it's all good, killing two birds with one stone. And then at least you go and stop by Superdrug as well to go and pick up something. Oh well, to go and try on something at Superdrug. But I am so tired. Can you tell from my face? But pushing through. are done i managed to get a dress that was so lucky i feel so lucky to have ever got to be able to have got a dress so quickly because shopping in store is a nightmare and i just don't understand how people enjoy it people who do shop in store tell me what are the tips like how do you enjoy a shopping experience because even just carrying bags alone i don't like it but i'm happy um that i've got the outfit though i have just got an update like probably about 20 minutes ago saying that the show is not going to go on tomorrow it might happen on wednesday instead so that's kind of a good thing because it gives me a bit of time that means that i don't have to go and see iffy this evening which is great because i was thinking about going out for dinner by myself seeing as i'm in central london and i'm actually at james street and james street if you just go it's just off oxford circus like off the the big main street and there's loads of little eateries just down this road so i want to go and try that solo dinner out tonight just because i'm engaged i can still do solo guys i am just walking past nando's and i'm thinking <laughs> solo day in nando's cheeky solo oh absolutely yes i was gonna go down and see all of the other nicer stores but cheeky nando's is actually just what is needed so let me go in here so nando's didn't work out i'm currently on a virtual queue which is like 7 to 17 minutes possibly for a table for one how is it 20 minutes for a table for one so now i'm looking at this place maru game udon but the thing is it's japanese noodles i love japanese noodles i love japanese food but i don't like udon noodles and i've just looked at the menu and literally everything is udon <laughs> i guess that's why it's called udon but i'm like in two minds do i wait or do i let me check my nine to 9 to 29 minutes wait time decreased by 10 minutes decreased sis increased oh my goodness wow okay well, let's go look for other options because nando's is where my heart is but let's go look somewhere else this shop smells delicious it smells so strong of coffee and all these pastries oh my god what's the name oh this looks interesting side chick 
What's this? Set lunch. That's definitely not lunchtime. Let me go and see what this is. And if not this, it might just have to be in Nando's. Chicken. Oh, it's Piri Piri. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna go for Nando's because that's where I'm being led to. But it's nice in here. Side chick. Let's see. 12 to 22 minutes. Hmm. I can wait. Just as I was checking out this spot, I have just got a message saying that they're nearly ready. So <laughs> Nando's it is just down the road. Kind of nice. I enjoyed this part. Once you finish shopping and now you're just looking for something to eat, I enjoyed this part of the day. But shopping itself, uh-oh. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. back to this place with terrible lighting but it is what it is guys the day has come to an end it is about 7 30 8 o'clock and i'm so pleased with myself like it's been such a long day but i'm glad i was able to go and do the shopping i picked up some pieces here i just wanted to come and quickly end the vlog i will haul all of this for you guys at some point in a different video and i don't even know where we've got to at this point but i think i just want to wrap this up because it would have been nice it would have been nice to like have shown you guys what i get up to tomorrow but i literally don't know what's happening tomorrow so i would just start the vlog all over afresh as a new day in the life or a new video but for now ending off this very busy day just ending this off i'm very proud of myself you know sometimes you really just have to push and even though it's like literally i spent the day shopping i just did not have the energy for it i didn't have any energy this morning but it's like if i didn't do that today that would have impacted everything else for the rest of the week and all of the things that i wanted to do especially if tomorrow is going to happen so sometimes you just really just suck it up like suck it up get on with it go and do it whatever it is that the thing that you don't want to do on your to-do list just do it anyway because you're going to feel so much better for it anyway i'm back home now so i'm going to go have a shower and then have a really nice relaxing evening with my ball and then start again all over tomorrow you know because tomorrow is another day and we go again tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i guess i should see you guys into my next video bye guys